So we're here at the CS 2019, and uh, who are you? Oh, my name is Panta Satarja. So I'm the CEO of Athletics Club. Yeah, and uh, what is this? Is the Amber right here? So yes. This is about doing the home cloud. Uh, so this is yes, it is a home cloud, but it's a lot more than a home cloud. Yeah. Uh, so Amber is a an AI powered smart storage platform that attaches itself to a bigger cloud that we developed. Yeah. So because it is part of a bigger cloud, like it is a member of a cloud federation, uh, it allows you to share, access your data from anywhere in the world. You can share your data to anybody in the world, and you can access it also from anywhere. So uh, in here, you have a, a, a little server you put in the home, right? Pardon? This is a little server. Yes. And uh, there's hard drives in there? Uh, it is a dual drive uh, system. Uh, we make sure that your data is doubly protected, right? So as soon as, if there's any, every hardware will fail eventually, right? So we make sure that your data is doubly protected. And if anything goes wrong or appear to go wrong, we will notify you. Can you stand up? Are you talking about uh, privacy? Uh, because uh, this is an alternative to Google Drive, to Dropbox, to Amazon Drive. So, Ember is like Google Drive or Dropbox meet Google Photo meets Apple TV. It is a media server. It is a cloud device. It is a sharing platform. Right? So, now, what does consumer really care? Consumer just want a place to store something, right? But they love the cloud. So, consumer basically like the convenience of the cloud, the, likes the feature set they provide, but they just hate what the cloud guys are doing to the data. They're selling the data. So far, they have no choice. That's why they're sticking around with the cloud. Now, we provide a solution that allows them to own part of the cloud and keep the data inside their home and still enjoy the convenience of the cloud, the accessibility from anywhere, convenience and all the features set like AI, so, so, indexing. so privacy, uh, uh, privacy is one thing, right? But uh, I think maybe one of the main uh, issues I have with them is that they're too expensive. Uh -huh. Are you actually providing more terabytes per dollar? No, that is not the point. The, the, the point is to make it really simple for the user. If you want it to be really the cheapest, you can beat USB drive, right? Yeah. So, and you always have people that can build their own server on an old hardware. We can never fight that war. What we want to do is really for the average consumer that doesn't know about technology, they can enjoy it. It, it is, uh, you know, you turn it on, it connects itself to the cloud. Yeah. Right? So if you look at this feature, right? So this got a Wi Fi router, allows you to connect instantly uh, and provide. Subscription plus no need for subscription. You can access our cloud service. So whatever storage you have here is backed up on your cloud at the same time. That is not true. Yeah. No. No. Our okay. Our model. You know, yeah. Why do the, the way we say you, uh, you you keep your privacy yeah. is to make sure that only you have the data. We don't keep a copy of it. When you share it to someone else. Okay. It, we don't even keep a copy. It goes there straight from your device to... So you just host it only at home? You only host it at home. You don't have a multi-place redundancy? We don't do that unless you, you want to do it. And if you want to do it, that means you have to buy two and put it somewhere else? Yes. So you don't oh. do any cloud hosting as part of your service? Not yet. Not yet. Not but yet. you were talking about it, right? We are That's talking right. about having a cloud service that provides cold backup. backup. Cold backup. Just a backup. Primarily as yeah. a cold backup. Yeah. The reason is In that... In case your house burns down. Yes. The reason cold backup makes sense for the cloud yeah. is because cold backup can be encrypted without me having the encryption key. Yeah. Right? I don't have to help you share to someone else. Yes. Yeah. No. That's what I want. I want extremely cold backup. Yep. The cheapest backup. The cheapest cold backup. Just in we case somebody steals my beautiful yes. machine. Yes. Or in case my house Correct. burns down. Yes. Or something. The or maybe there's a corruption in the firmware or something, you know? We will do cold backup 
you know, to extend the storage here. Yeah. I mean, things that you really don't care, you only care once in a while. Yeah. And one thing that's happening in Europe especially, but I heard maybe it's happening here too, is that now with cable, you get gigabits at home. You get Europe? In, in, in Copenhagen, I get 500 megabit upload uh -huh. and 1,000 megabit download. Perfect. So, this solution why do I need will be Google? even better. Then it works even better. Yes. So what's the price? And how, you have a one, two, three, four, uh, four terabytes. One, two, and four. So this one here, I think it's a one terabyte uh, model. Yeah. Uh, but you know, this is this one includes all our devices include a four by four AC twenty twenty six hundred Wi-Fi router. Yeah. So when we sell this, it includes two drives in really one configuration. Yeah. The Base model, one terabyte model, is 549. 549? Yes. And then the four terabyte? 849. 849. And uh, so uh, you, you are launching this to be a... Uh, is, is different in what Synology is doing and what QNAP is doing, right? Correct. We, we claim that we are a cloud service provider. We are not a NAS. That's the key, right? If you think about it, it is part of the bigger cloud infrastructure, except you own part of it. You do, uh, do you allow people to have stuff like FTP and stuff, uh, uh, BitTorrent, and uh, are, there, are there apps for this or? Uh, right now we don't uh, enable FTP. We use that in engineering mode, but we don't consider that as a normal everyday use experience model because it creates a lot of back doors that that prevent us from controlling certain aspects of things. Nice. Cool. All right. So looking forward to uh, the 16 terabyte version, right? 24 uh, terabyte. I think that the correct way to use it is to use our cloud to extend it. To extend it. There's a USB host on it. it can has... you connect external hard drives? Yes, you can. And expand it? Yes. But then if you remove it, you lose access. You remove what? If you remove it, then you lose access. Oh, yeah. It's good for backing, second backup. But backup the, the backup. external hard drive has to run all the time, or is it possible that it, it stays in, in uh, you know, in a sleep mode, in very uh, low power mode or something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's not automatic, right? Because, yeah. because if it could be unplugged, we don't want to be automatic. We want you to say, I want to backup. A better model, like I said, is to use our cloud to extend, you know, the storage capacity. Nice.